Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and this time it is a tech video. Seeing how successful my Snapchat tips and tricks video, I'm gonna do another one but with the more successful platform, arguably. But here's the thing, Instagram doesn't really have any secrets on its UI or app or interface, but I have managed to gather 10 tips and tricks for you guys that you probably already know, but some of you might not. So let's go. Also, I'm gonna screen record my phone so you can clearly see what's happening, which I would be putting around here, I guess. Pop. Let's start the first tip by opening the Instagram app and taking a picture, right? Did you know that there are multicolored pens if you swipe right? You could also hold on to these colors so that you could have a more precise color spectrum. There's also this feature where you could swipe up to see your last 24 hours photos. And those are so obvious, you probably know them. Let's not get into them, all right? Second, what do you do if the picture you want to upload is past 24 hours? There's a simple solution to that. Just go to your Photos app and pick the picture you want to upload. So let's say this girl that I photo shoot a while back, just screenshot that picture. Or what you could do is by making it full screen and then screenshotting it so that it'll look good on the Instagram app when you upload it. And there it is, right? Simple. Third feature is how you pin emojis or apps, which Instagram definitely ripped off from Snapchat. So first off, go to your stories and record a video like so. Now choose your emoji or your item or like this drawing of an ice cream cone, which looks really, really good. You can activate it by 3D touching it like so. 3D touching is hard pressing if you have a 6S or 7 and if you have a 6 or below, I don't know, I think you just hold it and pin it to where you want to pin it, like let's say to this camera, just pin and it stays right there. This is not a very obvious feature but uh, I know a lot of you use it but some people don't so I'm including it. Fourth tip is the hands-free countdown. If you use hands-free there's actually a countdown to this feature and it is activated by holding the record button and it starts the 3, 2, 1 countdown so that you could prepare before you do the hands-free. Fifth feature, how to mute stories. You know that annoying friend who has those long ass stories? Yeah, I know. There's a way to mute them. You can do this by going to your story section and finding the person you want to mute. So let's say I want to mute Hanaira or Josh. I would do this by holding the circle, his circle, and then it would give me the choices of view profile or mute Hanaira or Josh. So let's click the mute Hanaira or Josh and I would never see his stories again. Now if you want to unmute that person, he's just at the uh, last circle. I have a lot of friends. He's just in the last circle where you would just hold it again and click unmute. There you go. This feature is also very important if you're, let's say, trying to move on from a person and you don't want to see their stories because you're trying to move on from them. If you see their stories, feelings come back to you and you're hurt, you don't want to see them again. So just, just mute their stories, man. All right, sixth tip, how to quickly search people. You could do this by holding to the search button and that's how you, oh, I'd, I'll probably have to blur my searches because I don't want you seeing the people I who I often leave search, which are mostly women. Seventh tip, the save to collection button. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a ribbon always below the picture here at the bottom right. Yeah, I'm not really sure where you use this, but a friend of mine saves the memes she always see and uh, she could view them offline. So I guess that's one way to use them. So let's say I want to save this picture of Diane. It's now in my collection over here, right? But there's also a feature where you hold the save to collection and we could cluster it to different groups like family or let's say I want to um, write girls. Why, 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 why is girls always in my head? There we go. And the collections, family, girls, whatever. I'm not actually saving this, so I'm, I'm gonna remove it from the collection. All right, sorry, Dan. 
Uh, you're just an example. I'm not saving your pictures, I promise. <laughs> All right, eighth tip. If you have a 6S Plus and above, like a 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, there's a way to preview profiles by 3D touching their names like this. One plus tech, I could 3D touch or which is hard press, like a harder press. You could do that and you could see their preview of their profile and when you press harder, you could go to their uh, profile page. You could also do this with the photos to preview and clicking harder, you get to the main picture. Also, also, also I think you could do this in a six or below phone but you don't actually like 3D touch or hard pressing the phone. You just hold on to the name and you could see the preview. I'm not really sure. So ninth tip, just recently Instagram announced this archive feature. This is very useful when you want to clean up your feed. So let's say I don't want this picture in my feed. I just do archive instead of deleting it. When you archive, it just goes to this section right here where you could see your archive posts. All right, I'm gonna have to blur archive images because those are actually pictures of my ex. And don't be like me. If you have pictures of your ex, delete them. Don't archive them. You'll never move on if you do that. All right, uh, this, uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the next tip, all right? All right, last tip. It's not really a tip, but more of a rule book on screenshotting on Instagram. Screenshots on Instagram works a little different versus Snapchat. In Instagram, you don't get notified whenever someone screenshots your story, but you do get notified if someone screenshots your timed photo or video DM to a person. You would know this is a direct message to you if it appears on your messages. And trust me, they get notified. Don't screenshot those things. I've learned this the hard way. Also, just recently, Instagram added this feature where you could reply to stories using a photo like so just like that you could uh, send it but I'm not going to send this because it's kind of creepy uh, but yeah you could reply photos or videos now so yeah that's the last tip or trick I hope they weren't too obvious I hope you guys learned something if you enjoyed the video please 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 share the video to your friends because it helps me out a lot hit that like button below and subscribe because it's free and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks guys